Each year, the University of Florida and Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission provide a five-day intensive workshop for science teachers on native, non-native, and invasive aquatic plants and their importance in Florida's natural areas. Plant Camp is divided into five days of training with hands-on instruction in field and laboratory settings. More than 25 instructors, many recognized as leaders in their fields of expertise, participate in Plant Camp. Welcome to Plant Camp. The first thing we're going to do is everybody's going to take a pretest, and that helps us gauge whether we're hitting our benchmarks. 24 teachers are selected among about 75 applicants who are recognized by the administrator of their school as a teacher who will benefit from this training and bring materials and ideas back to share with students and other instructors. Teachers hit the ground running on day two, boarding the bus for the short trip to the edge of Payne's Prairie State Park for a walkthrough of invasive upland and wetland plants and a hands-on invasive plant mapping experience. But the air potato infestation, air potato is really bad in here, it's really typical. The afternoon is spent indoors learning techniques and terms to describe, identify, and illustrate plants. And an invasive plant is a exotic plant that causes some sort of harm to the environment. Day three begins at the UF Center for Aquatic and Invasive Plants. A morning pond walk introduces teachers to 10 to 12 of the most important native invasive plants in Florida's aquatic ecosystems, as well as techniques to sample and identify aquatic invertebrates living in these habitats. If you know the name of the plant, it's the key that unlocks the door. Need you to realize, guys, that this is a real neat opportunity to, to get your kids involved. It's hands-on. This is the one time they can touch the stuff as opposed to being told, don't touch, don't touch. Afternoon lectures on aquatic plant control strategies, especially herbicide and biocontrol research and implementation, provide background for the day four field trip. Day three ends with hands-on preparing and potting aquatic plants used in UF and FWC research and revegetation programs. I tell the kids, it's your job to question. And a lot of times it's your job to say, show me the data. And the standard that EPA uses is no product can be marketed in the United States unless it can be shown through scientific evidence that the product can be used as directed with no unreasonable adverse effects on human health or the environment. What we're going to talk about now is using natural enemies to control plants. So we need to find those ones that are very specific so that when we bring them in uh, and test them and eventually hopefully release them, we can uh, demonstrate that they will only feed on the target plant. Teachers board the bus after breakfast on day four and head to Kissimmee for a two and a half hour airboat tour on Lake Toho. So we get kids from all over the state, and it's, it's really nice to hear that it's circling back through the way that we intended it to. Along the tour, several stops are plant researchers and managers who explain and demonstrate their involvement in conserving this 20,000 acre ecosystem. One of the really important ways to get this information out is to get it into the school system, through the teachers, to the students, and we would really like to see this thing grow. Teachers apply what they have learned during the week in a two-hour afternoon small group session, scripting and filming invasive plant public service announcements. I chose to come to plant camp because I'm always looking for another way to inspire the students and so for me, if I'm out there as an active learner, then it shows to the students that's what they need to be doing too, is be actively learning. On day five, teachers participate in a demonstration of Lakeville. Lakeville is an interactive classroom board game that incorporates the scientific concepts learned during the week, along with public speaking and critical thinking skills. When we were at plant camp, the teachers actually pretended like they were students and completed the Lakeville project. It was a very helpful because we get to see how the students feel and it makes us more comfortable to start. Well, if you know what kinds of invasive plants there are, you know which ones to keep out of your water sources, ones off your land, and to get people not to put invasive plants and animals into the Everglades, community ponds, and lakes. And so to see these 
these feelings coming out in these children and as they're taking on these roles, they become more passionate about what they're learning. They're going to be able to take this into the, their community. Having this Lakeville game lets them now act out. They get to be the politician. They get to be the, um, the farmer. And the other kids are having, it's teaching them debating skills. They have to, whether they like being the, the red fire ant, they have to sell themselves. They have to find what their positives are, as long with, with the negatives, of why they need to be in their, this community of Lakeville. Lakeville has let my students hit the ground running with real world activities, technical reading and technical writing that fit right in with the Common Core. The materials are first rate and ready to go. All materials and curricula distributed at Plan Camp are routinely updated to meet current Florida Department of Education standards. Teachers attending Plan Camp earn 32 professional development points. This is wonderful. Yeah.